How's it going everyone? This is Abe's Card Collection back with a special Mail Day Monday and Through the Mail Tuesday video. It is Christmas Day. I had a couple returns this week and thought it'd be fun to put out a video on Christmas. Mainly because I believe in one of these Through the Mail's um, returns I actually have a present that I'm going to give to my father. So kind of had to open it before Christmas and thought it'd be fun to put a video out. So combining the two. Um, so I think first thing we should do is go through this eBay package and then we'll get to these uh, TTM returns. But I hope those of you watching are having a fantastic Christmas. I know it is much different this year for most people. So hopefully next year we can get back to normalcy. PC sports cards where this is coming from. Very large consign consigner on eBay. I like them a, a little bit more than, well, I, I won't say a little bit more. I like them a lot more than Probstein123 and PWC. Um, let's get into this. Ripping through this eBay purchase. I actually had a second eBay purchase for this week, but it has not shown up. Um, totally understandable, though, with everything the post office is going through right now. And if you guys have watched, let's see here. Oh yeah. If you guys have watched some of my previous videos, you know I really do like to collect Claver Torres uh, rookie cards. And look at this one. <laughs> short printed, super, excuse me, super short printed Claver Torres 2018 update rookie card. These do not come up for sale very often because there just are not that very many of them. And I've added a lot of his short printed rookie cards but this is my first super short print, I guess SSP. And there is another one out there that is even more short printed than this one, um, but they go for significantly a lot more. So I am a big believer in Glaber and I am trying to buy his stuff now because I am worried what is gonna happen to him is what happened to Juan Soto and his prices are gonna shoot up and I'm not gonna be able to add to my PC as much. So that is my eBay purchase mail day Monday for the week. We will now move on to these two TTM returns. Again, Postal Service is definitely backed up right now, so not as many coming through. But we will go through this first one from South Jersey, New Jersey. I have a feeling I know who this is because I think my only other um, one out to New Jersey came back a week or two ago. That was Anthony Volpe. So, I hope I am right on this. Let's see. It is signed. It's in a hard card. Wow. Oh, this is so cool. It is Mr. Vince Papali on a 1977 Tops. Personalized and says, Dream Big. Vince Papali. Such a cool card, guys. Look at that. He doesn't have really many cards out there, actually. I don't I don't know. This might actually be his only one, the 77 Tops. It was not that easy to get a hold of one in decent shape. Um, but yeah, if you don't know his story, he is... I think he still is, but at least at the time in 1976 when he signed with the Eagles, he was the oldest rookie to sign without actually uh, playing in college. So, other than kickers, I guess. But yes, he tried out as a 30-year-old for the Eagles, made the team. He only had one career catch. He had a couple of fumble recoveries, but he was kind of the heart and soul of the Philadelphia team back then. Now he is actually a motivational speaker. So, but this is really awesome. He kind of gives hope to, to guys like me that are, you know, hitting that 30 range. <laughs> like, oh man, do I have a chance? I don't, but this guy did. So, of course... I actually have this close by because my man cave is in shambles. Mark Wahlberg starred in him in the Invincible movie. Maybe I can, uh, I have a nice little movie poster of that signed by Mr. Invincible himself. Really cool if I could get Mark Wahlberg to sign this as well, but I have not gotten this framed up yet, so. But yeah, Vince Papali. I'm sure most of you know his story, but if you don't, check out that video second return and this is why i'm really doing this you see the double stamps that means it was a little heavy but it comes from salt lake 
Salt Lake City, Utah. Oh, excuse me, guys. That Vince Papali came back in 21 days. No fee. Now we will move on to this second return. Salt Lake City, Utah. Double stamps. It's heavy. Thanks for the donation he wrote on the back of this. Really nice. Cut this bad boy open. We have two hard cards in here. What are we going to do first? Let's do these ones. Oh, so cool. So, so cool, guys. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't I have too many of these little plastic things. I try not to fill up the screen too much, but check these cards out. Mr. Vern Law. 1960 um, Cy Young Award winner. World Series champion. Two-time All-Star. I believe he is 90-91 now. Check out this 56 tops. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful signature. Everything about it is beautiful. And how about this 1958 tops to go along with it? Oh, he even put Pittsburgh Pirates 1950 to 1967 on there. That is so cool. Oh, yeah. And this is one of the big reasons I sent this to him. I got this return from uh, Mr. Roy Face not that long ago, but holy smokes, look at that. That is so cool. This is the 1961 tops. This is actually the very first card I've gotten signed through the mail by two different players. So I think that's a really cool thing to kind of take on. And this was a great one to start with. I actually just mailed a uh, card out to Sam McDowell that has him, Danny McLean, and Luis Tiant on it. So I'm hoping I can get all three of them to sign it at some point. But the 61 Tops is amazing. And now why I had to open these. These, uh, these cards, next ones are going to my father for Christmas. He is a big Vern Law fan. I never saw a Vern Law pitch. My dad did though. Check this one out, guys. 1952 Bowman. Oh, man. That is so cool. Oh, look at this. 1952 Tops. Oh, my God. I had to put this down for a sec. Feature this Bowman real quick. But look at that. 1960 Champs. World Series Cy Young. My dad is going to freak out for this card. Original card. No real like wrinkles or anything. It's a very clean card. Yes, it's a little real like looks like coffee's been on it. It's not coffee. It's just you know aged. How beautiful that is, and it accepted the ink pretty well. Put that there. Look at this 52 tops. Holy smokes! Cy Young and World Series champ 1960 Lou Gehrig Award comeback player of the year 1965. He actually um he injured himself before the 1960 World Series and still threw in three games and that kind of hurt him the rest of his career um, and then of course in 65 he kind of made a comeback from those injuries so and pitched a couple more years in the majors and then two time all star he put the little star down there that is so amazing but yeah I had these 52 I picked up these 52 cards and I was like I gotta send them I don't know what his first card is from he, I know he pitched from 1950 to 67 but I haven't seen any 51 tops. Yes, they have those like kind of playing card ones or 51 or 50 Bowman. So I don't know if these are his rookies. If they are, fantastic. But how about that? Um, I did send Vern Law $40 to sign all of those cards. So he, um, he takes donations. And these all came back in eight days. So really amazing i gotta pull these guys up front so cool but i hope you all are having a fantastic christmas um and i really appreciate everyone that has been watching my videos the last couple months since i started doing these ttm videos and i really do appreciate all of you guys and uh your comments and the the insight you guys share and definitely the other ones that put out videos it's great to see you guys get returns and kind of give me the heads up of who i should be sending to but but yeah Merry Christmas, and I hope you all have a fantastic New Year's as well. So, thanks.